Welcome to another Art School video. Today's lesson is all about the elements of art. The elements are the building blocks or parts of any composition. They are line, shape, form, color, value, space, and texture. These pieces work together to create a strong and unified composition. Have you ever played the game Jenga? It's a game where you build a tower out of wooden blocks and players take turns to remove blocks from the tower. The game ends when the tower falls. The elements of art are like these wooden Jenga pieces. When the elements are used or arranged well, they create a strong composition, much like the Jenga tower. If elements are overlooked, your composition will most likely be weak, boring and unattractive. We are going to learn about one of the most important elements, line. A line is the part made by a moving point, tool, medium or object as it moves across an area or surface. Line is simply a point in motion. A line can be visible or implied. Visible lines are lines that we create when we draw or paint. Lines can be seen everywhere, in the cracks of a sidewalk, veins of a leaf, lightning bolts, and buildings. These are all implied lines. These lines are not actually there. They are suggested based on differences in color, tone, and texture. These lines are what we see when edges of different shapes meet. Line has meaning. Line communicates emotion and movement. There are many different types of lines because line has many different properties. Let's discuss these properties and attributes now. A line has character. The medium used to create the line also adds to the personality or emotional quality of the line. Different media will create different types of textures and edge qualities. Line has measure. It has length and width. There are long lines and short lines, thick and thin lines. Thick lines are more powerful than thin lines. Thin lines are generally more elegant, gentle, and appear more delicate. A line can also be solid or broken. Broken lines have spaces or gaps. They can be dotted or dashed. Broken lines tend to be unsure and unsafe. A line can be tapered, whereby it becomes smaller or thinner towards one end or uneven. Line has direction, which can indicate movement. They are straight, curved, and angular lines. Straight lines are lines that don't bend. They maintain the same direction. Horizontal lines are lines that run from west to east or left to right. They suggest a feeling of quiet, serenity, and stability. Objects parallel to the earth are at rest in relation to gravity. Vertical lines run from top to bottom or north to south. Vertical lines communicate a feeling of power and strength and seem to extend upwards towards the sky. Diagonal lines suggest a feeling of movement or direction. They are either about to fall or are already in motion. Parallel lines are lines that are going the same direction but will never meet or touch each other. Perpendicular lines consist of both horizontal and vertical lines. When used together, they create a sense of stability. Curved lines are lines that bend. Curvy, wavy, curly are all examples of curved lines. Soft, shallow curves suggest comfort and safety, whereas deep, acute curves suggest confusion and turbulence, as in the violence of waves in a storm or tangled thread. Spiral lines can be dizzy, crazy, and busy. There are many spirals that exist in nature. Sometimes, an artist may use a spiral design to create an optical illusion. Zigzag lines are often used to show anger and pain. 
Now, let's discuss all the ways in which we can use line. A line can define shapes and objects. The edges or outline of this apple is known as a contour line. Lines are also used as a form of notation and writing. For example, a tally, typography, writing, calligraphy, barcodes, maps, and floor plans. Lines are also used to create pattern. This zebra pattern is created by the use of thick tapering and uneven lines. A line can also divide space. It distinguishes the horizon line and separates background, middle ground, and foreground. Objects that are placed closer to the horizon line appear to be farther away from the viewer, whereas objects placed further away from the horizon line appear to be closer to the viewer. Lines are used to create depth. As objects get further away from us, the line seems to narrow or converge until they disappear. This is an example of perspective. Lines are used to indicate movement. This is an example of the sea. The straight line suggests that the sea is calm, whereas the curvy line suggests that the sea is rough. Line is a very important element, especially when it comes to drawing. Lines are used in a number of shading techniques, such as hatching, cross-hatching, contour hatching, stippling, and scumbling. Subtle changes in the use of line can change the meaning of an image significantly. That wraps up our lesson on the element line. As always, I hope you learned something new. Thank you for watching. Let me know what topic I should cover next. And like, comment, and subscribe for more art school videos. Thank you.